Hi, welcome to my journal. I found myself talking into my journal on my phone over the past couple of days, and I wanted to share with you over the course of this episode while I high vibrationally do my morning routine and spend an afternoon the thoughts that I've been having. Someone asked me a couple months ago, what was I interested in? I was just coming out of a really tough point in my life and I had not a single idea. I always knew though, in the back of my head, I always knew it because I was always drawn to that thing over and over again, but I never listened. I just assumed it was a hobby, something that everybody knew or was interested in. As wild as this may sound, I'm just learning that my interests are not everyone else's interest and what comes easy to me may not come easy to the next person. To the question I was asked, I love to learn and I love to teach. I love to inspire others. I love to empower others about how to live a balanced, holistic lifestyle, about tuning into the mind, body, and soul about how to live an abundance filled high vibrational life. In my constant continuous journey of abundance, I'm learning that there are so many career paths. I can't even begin to conceptualize how many career paths there are. And there are some that I will never hear about, but I'm learning that there's space for me, that there is space for what I love to do, that I can be beyond monetarily and financially abundant sharing what I love with others, living a happy life, unsubscribing from hustle culture. What I do with my life does not have to fit into the blueprints of what I've always been taught. And the reason I was taught this is because it was what they knew at the time. My path is taking me somewhere so unique, somewhere I cannot even begin to fathom. I am so excited and I am so thankful I am learning to use what I'm passionate about. What comes easy for me, what I love to do and talk about for hours without getting bored to guide me to my purpose to what I can do in different areas of my life. I'm learning that I can be in multiple careers. I can have multiple eras, multiple timelines of life. And one single thing I choose in my 20s or in my 30s doesn't need to be done for the rest of my life. I'm learning that multiple things exist at once, and I'm learning that multiple things can exist one after the other. I'm learning to expand my mind and my mindset, and I'm learning that anything is possible, literally anything, and I'm allowed to change the beliefs that I grew up with. I'm allowed to learn and expand. I don't need to fit into a box that someone or that I created with with myself without knowing. There are endless possibilities and it never actually has to follow a cohesive story. You don't actually have to package things to be digestible for a human or the monkey mind or for others. I was thinking the other day and it was more of a society or like matrixy guided kind of thoughts <laughs> it was along the lines of what careers to be in and it brought me more to what i just hear about all the time so kind of like working in finance and i didn't really understand why i was having that thought because i had never necessarily actually been interested in finance but i had a limited view of careers at the time and careers that would bring in a decent income And I was about to really start applying for jobs in those fields and start looking at courses in those fields when I already had a section of knowledge that lights me on fire and gets me so excited. It was just really interesting for me to observe that thought and for me to see how much society and how much limiting beliefs can play into what we think is possible and what we think would regard as a successful or ambitious or acceptable, or as the next step of life in this world. The next day I wrote, I am so overwhelmed with joy. I think that it's the most beautiful thing in the world that I get to learn and share what lights my soul on fire, and I am beyond thankful. I just got registered for class, and it's actually called the Self-Reflection and Awareness Class. 
actually, <laughs> it's called reflexive writing and self-awareness. <laughs> In the past, I would have said my writing skills are not exactly my favorite thing about me, and I would not have taken the class. But I picked it because I'm excited to grow. I know that this course will push me forward with so many skills. I am so excited to strengthen my writing skills. I think most importantly, I am so excited to further strengthen my storytelling skills, to go with them and learn about reflexive healing. The first book that my teacher sent us to read is called Kitchen Table Wisdom. And I went on Amazon and I saw that Deepak Chopra actually wrote a review on it. Do you know what's funny though? There are so many full circle moments in my life. My mom and my sister were actually telling me last week that we used to grow up with my dad listening to Deepak Chopra. I don't remember this, but that wasn't out of the ordinary. I don't seem to remember a lot of things from my childhood. I do love Deepak Chopra, and I'll probably start listening some more to his podcast in the next couple days. I think it's so exciting that I get to apply what I'm learning, things that I'm passionate about, things that get me so excited. I'm honestly just so thankful. I'm so thankful. And I'm so grateful. And I'm just filled with gratitude. From the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, I beam, literally always beaming with gratitude. I know sources leading me, God, spirits, my angels, my guides are leading me to where I'm supposed to be. And I just say thank you. I could cry from gratitude because I'm just so thankful. Always so thankful and grateful.